and welcome back to the STEM learning series on Vanity Visions. I'm so excited that we're nearing our 50th episode next week. You can expect a lot of surprises in the 50th episode, though don't miss out. Also, as always, I would like to start off by saying a big thanks to my subscribers and viewers for your love and support. It gives me more motivation to keep on making videos for you all. Now, let's jump right into the video. If you already know about the concept of heat transfer, you can easily answer my question. Name the household item which reduces the transfer of heat so that hot drinks stay hot and cold drinks stay cold for longer times. I'll reveal the answer in 3, 2, 1. It's a thermos. Well done to all of you who got that correctly. Today I'm going to make a thermos model using two bottles. Come on, let's get started. Let's see what we need to make a thermos. We need a glass bottle, a plastic bottle, and make sure the glass bottle is smaller than the plastic bottle. A thermometer, some tin foil, a funnel, duct tape, and adhesive putty. Let's see how to make it. As for the first step, cut the top off and the middle off as well. For the second step, take your adhesive putty and put it on top of the bottle cap. Then, place the bottle cap in the middle of the bottle. Next, wrap the glass bottle around with tin foil and then place it inside the bottle. After you've done that, take the two halves and the neck and wrap the rest with tin foil. I also put tin foil around the cap. Now a very useful and handy thermos is ready. It's time for my favourite part, the demo. When it's cold outside, we want something warm. And when it's warm outside, we want something cold. Right now it's freezing cold outside, so I've got some boiling hot water. I'm going to pour boiling hot water into the model thermos and a the real thermos just to compare whether both of them are the same. Now I've put the funnel on top, I'm going to pour the boiling water in. I'm going to check the temperature for each of these thermoses to see what the temperature is. Now I'm going to check the temperature for the first thermos. Sixty-four point three. Now I'm going to check the temperature for the second thermos. Sixty-three point eight. The time is currently eleven fifteen. I'm going to check on these thermoses again at twelve fifteen. Now it is exactly twelve fifteen. Now I'm going to check the temperature for the real thermos flask. Sixty-two. Now I'm going to check the temperature for the model thermos. Sixty point four. I'm so surprised that our homemade thermos model almost maintained this original temperature after an hour. I really enjoyed the demo. Hope you all at home did too. You can repeat the same demo with cold water as well. Now I'm going to explain the science behind it. As you can see in the diagram, this is our model thermos. Infrared radiation from sources such as the sun passes through the plastic but is reflected by the foil. The bottle cap and the air gap helps reduce the heat conduction. Now let's look at the real world technology. This is what a flask would look like in the real world. Just like the model flask I made, it has an inner compartment, an outer compartment and a gap. The air is removed from the gap between the inner compartment and the outer surface, which creates a vacuum. The vacuum reduces heat transfer to or from the liquid inside to almost nothing. This makes it possible to keep liquids very cold or hot for long periods. I'm referring 
thanks to Robert Winston's Science Lab book to make this model. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video. Also, I'd recommend you to watch my earliest 10 videos, which I will leave linked to in the description box down below. If you're interested to do anything similar to this, you can participate in the STEM learning series by sharing the video for me to post on this channel. Please like and subscribe to Vanity Visions to show your support. I'll see you all in my special 50th STEM episode next week. Don't miss out. Have a lovely weekend everyone. Take care. Bye.